we're very excited to be back. We're trying to hit the ground running really and uh, train hard and study a lot harder because we've been out for a while. Starting our recruiting process back up and getting our phase one kids starting to go and getting new recruits into the program, which is great, teaching them as well as train for upcoming competitions across the country that hopefully will start popping up again. And one of our biggest things that we want to get back to is uh, preparing for our XCON in February 2022. Um, and very excited to be invi inviting teams from across the country to come compete here in Las Vegas. Uh, thinking back to 2020, uh, a lot of us uh, probably don't really want to think about and try and remember a lot from there, but uh, going back to the start of 2020, we actually got to participate in our Chandler Explorer competition in Arizona. Uh, we took two teams down and uh, it was really great seeing uh, all of us work together down there and uh, win a few trophies, which is awesome and something that we always enjoy doing. Uh, it was pretty heartbreaking for me. Uh, I know a lot of my explorers that uh, I train with definitely felt the same way, just not being able to see each other, train with each other, study with each other, because we're a family here at Metro. And being apart from our family for so long really took a toll on us. So getting back to it was something definitely that we wanted throughout the whole process. Uh, looking forward to 2022. Right now in 2021, we are back up and running, uh, but we are taking those baby steps because of all the precautions that we still have to take. Um, with COVID still being something that we have to be very precautious of, we are still uh, maintaining our social distancing, which does affect our hands-on training a little bit. Here at Metro, we're adapting and overcoming every day, and we're working hard to just continue our process and work hard to continue our learning and our education for our law enforcement careers. So yes, in uh, 2020, we had to deal with some serious uh, civil unrest across the nation. Um, it was very challenging for our explorers to have to uh, witness all that and it was just it's just a tough time for anybody that's in a law enforcement career across the nation to have to go through that but thankfully we have a very strong community here that supports us and still wants to work with us and Metro being partners with the community and having that great partnership with the community is something I'm very grateful for and a lot of the explorers saw that too. Uh, so a huge thank you to Boyd Gaming for inviting us back again to participate in their Reads of Hope program. It was great getting back into the community and showing our community that we're still here and we're still ready to work for you and with you. Uh, I just want to be, I just want to extend a huge thank you to all of uh, my advisors and all of our, our advisors in the program and all of my explorers and all the explorers in the program that uh, continue to fight through all the challenges that we faced in 2020, uh, persevering through all the odds and continuing to stay dedicated to um, staying on track with their uh, career in law enforcement and pursuing that career and staying motivated. Yeah.